Seedlings need protection from adverse conditions like intense heat or rain, insect pests and diseases, or damages from stray animals. One way to provide protection is by making seedling nursery structure. Find a place in the field or close to your home to build the seedling nursery that is accessible for daily monitoring. It is important to consider a place with good light exposure to avoid shade that may cause the deteriorated growth of seedlings. The size of the nursery will depend on the area of vegetable production. For example, a 250 meters squared tomato area may require at least 2 meters squared. Platform table size to accommodate the seedlings. A bigger design with a working area inside the structure like a small greenhouse may also be built. The style will depend on the availability of materials and the decision of the farmer as long as the main requirements of the structure are met. Bamboo or wooden posts can be used to build the structure. It is important to consider environmental issues like giving back what was used from nature, like planting more trees or bamboo to avoid degradation of resources and ensure sustainable source of materials in future. Use stronger and bigger posts as foundation to protect from extreme weather conditions like strong wind that can blow down the structure. Add an elevated platform or table to put the seedling containers on a height that you can easily manage activities like watering. The elevated platform will avoid contamination from the ground like soil pathogen that may infect the seedlings. It also protects the seedlings from flood in case of rainy season and from damages of animals roaming in the area. Add a transparent polythene plastic on top of the structure to avoid damages during the rainy season. Install mesh nets on top of the platform or cover the whole nursery structure to protect from insect pests. Once the seedling nursery structure is ready, you can start sowing.